I'm searching for the consistent Islamic apologist. And so from Bart Ehrman's perspective, though he's loath to talk about this because he has such disrespect for Islam that remember, remember, I've got it on here someplace, but remember the, when he was asked, why haven't you written a book about Muhammad and the Quran? He says, cause I, cause I want to stay alive. Uh, that was meant to be a joke, but I, I would be shocked if any of our Muslim friends took that as being a compliment, um, in any way, shape or form. Anyway. Um, someone's asked, how about a new book? Uh, how about working on the Quran? Yes, when I stop valuing my life, that's what I'll do. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm not making any stand about the Quran. I don't know anything about the Quran. Today is going to be a special video because today I'm going to be talking about meeting Dr. Bart Ehrman. Well, my overall impression is that Bart Ehrman is a decent guy. He's a good guy. Uh, I thought he would like look down on me because I'm a Muslim or something. And I actually said I was a Muslim when I introduced myself to, uh, to Bart Ehrman and he was like, oh, really? Cool. So uh, Bart Ehrman's cool with Muslims. He, uh, he doesn't have anything against us. So I thought that was uh, cool. Oh, thank you. Oof. Life is better now. Yeah, mm. Because he has such disrespect for Islam. Remember the when he was asked, "Why haven't you written a book about Muhammad and the Quran?" He says, "Because I because I want to stay alive." Uh, that was meant to be a joke, but. I, I would be shocked if any of our Muslim friends took that as being a compliment. It was a facepalm moment, okay? It was a facepalm moment. I, I would be shocked if any of our Muslim friends took that as being a compliment. Because he has such disrespect for Islam. Unfortunately, this seems to have also a cultural element to it that I do not understand. Uh, Walid Shabbat is Middle Eastern. And many people with a Middle Eastern mindset confuse the loudness of the rhetoric and the temperature of the language used with demonstration of truth. So if you yell loud and you insult your opponent, appropriately, you win. I, I would be shocked if any of our Muslim friends took that as being a compliment. Let me talk briefly about his interactions with Christian apologists, because me and Bart Ehrman have something in common. Uh, we both debated James White, and uh, guess what? We have another thing in common. We both don't like James White. 
Uh, Bart Ehrman told me to my face that he doesn't respect James White because he thinks James White is an unpleasant person. And I agree with uh, Bart, uh, Bart Ehrman that uh, James White is an unpleasant person. Uh, he's not a nice person. So me and Bart Ehrman have something in common. Uh, we both debated James White, and we both don't like James White. Uh, and I thought that was awesome, too, that uh, we have that in common. I am, I, I am like uh, the man searching for the honest person with, with, with the lamp uh, in the darkness.